that's it. Kmart is officially closed. And we are back at the Kmart in Seven Hills. I was here on the last day, March 10th. I've passed by it a few times, but it's still sitting here, still awaiting demolition for Meyer. You can see this place is not looking too good. This, someone egged it, and someone wrote bad words with the eggs. Okay, thanks. All right, I'm going to put us up to the window here. All right, so... The lights are still on, there's still the service desk and the layaway signs off out of the picture, I'll look at that way in a minute. But you can see right there in front is where, in my intro you can see I actually say, hey guys, I'm here at the last day Seven Hills, or in the intro clip I'm just talking in turn. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. You can see back there the layaway sign is still up, everything inside is gone though, it's ready. Any day now, this Kmart will no longer be standing and Meyer will have taken it over. I almost walked into the bowl. <laughs> that would not have ended well. You can see down this way, I've heard several stories. I've heard this was a Kmart Foods down here. We're gonna run a bit because it's cold outside. I heard this was originally a Kmart Foods and then Big Lots took over. No one egged it. So let's take a look inside. That's a lobby. It does kind of look like a Kmart. Probably was originally something for Kmart then. Because you can see on the left there, that kind of tile coloring thing. Maybe just taking pictures. This person's probably wondering what I'm doing. Just taking pictures of Kmart. Give you guys another look in the lobby quick. Then we're gonna head down by the garden shop. Oh, someone broke the railing. Well, that sucks. All right, there's another look inside for you. You can see in there, through the egg. All right, so we're gonna walk down to the garden center now. You guys can already see down there is the garden shop sign. Oh, they still have the Kenmore sign up. Okay. I didn't even know that was here. <laughs> uh, the things you forget when you don't come past these places for a while, it's kind of funny. There's the lettering off of the garden shop sign. Still hanging up here. There's birds nests falling behind it now We're gonna walk back to the garden shop And already people have dropped a bag here It looks like this was an auto center. We'll see if we can look inside real quick You can kind of see in but not too good they painted over the window Seems like someone tried to scratch the paint out of it, though. It's the best look I can get you guys in. Alright. <laughs> it's an old card advertisement.
This was the second Kmart I was at on the last day. We're coming up on the garden shop here. And welcome shoppers. Not anymore. So uh, story time. You can see the garden shop's empty now, but during the liquidation of Kmart, someone broke in those back doors you can see outside and stole a bunch of jewelry from the store. And I think it was like $150,000 of jewelry. It was a really expensive amount, I can tell you that. Thank you for shopping big. And then you can see we got this over us. And that's about it for Seven Hills Kmart, guys. It's just kind of sitting here awaiting demolition for a mire. Thank you all for watching my revisit to Seven Hills Kmart, and I'll see you in the next video.